Hi, welcome to Superior Cuts and Styles by Sir Reginald in Huddle, Texas. What I'm going to do today is a low ball taper and I'm going to demonstrate some of the new tools I've got my hands on in the industry. I just got to show you guys this. This is the T1. Get to zoom in on that. It's a T1 trimmer blade by www.mdbarber.com. This is one of the most premier blades I've ever worked with. Also, what I'm going to use is the Anivo Blade Setter, if you're not familiar with that. This is a must-have in barbershops. I know you guys have developed your eye and taken a lot of years to get it right. This saves you a whole lot of time. You can find that on www.anivo.com. The Anivo Blade Setter. They have it for the style liner tools and also for the T-edgers. Not the T-edgers, excuse me, the T-outliners. Anyway, we're going to get into the next cut. You guys follow along with me and I'll do my best to keep you abreast with the latest trends and techniques. Welcome back to Superior Cuts and Styles. We're going to go ahead now and start this low taper. Just follow my nose. I'm going to open up with the Andes Motor Driven 5 0 blade. Just kind of make my, my work line here. careful not to make your line too hard because it's hard to blend that thing out. I'm just going to go ahead and make my mark. And do the same thing. Make the same move. Just kind of gingerly work that zero guard. Slow rocking motions until you develop a rhythm. You want to come in the cut and out. It's going to create a 45 degree angle. It's hard to see from here, but that's exactly what a fade is. It's a 45 degree haircut. Now, let me get you to zoom out of that a little bit, right about there should be good. What some of you are seeing is it's still this dark ridge here. I'll show you how I eliminate that in a second. We finished doing some cleanup work down here on this line of demarcation. What I like to call this is point cutting. Some people go into it with a guard. I choose to use this as with a Gently, generally going to do is I'm going to tilt my blade to where the points of my blade are cutting the tops of the hair. Now I'm going to introduce you to another blending tool that I like to use. It's called a razor comb. It's generally a comb with a razor in it. I prefer this particular attachment because the blades are angled. That way I can go into the flow of the motion of the hair. The hair grows counterclockwise, so there's a comb parchment. That mean I'm, means I'm combing the hair as the blade is cutting it, and it creates a soft blend, like so. Take some of that dark area out, and it's not a harsh look like a guard would give you. get me wrong there's 10 million different ways to do one thing I'm just showing you a different different way
kind of make that blend a little bit better. We want to go, go into our point cutting again. We're going to angle that blade to only the tips of the blade are hitting the rooftops of the hair. Create that soft blend. This is number one. Excuse me, number zero, correction. Bring that all the way forward. Cut. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and use my T1 trimmer blade from MD. Do this edge up. Can't really give you a good view of the back. Just kind of bear with me. I'll see what I can get you. Money is I'm in the most sensitive portion of the patron's head. And if you would watch his facial expressions, he's not shrieking. He's not cringing. It means his blade is not irritating him. see this L that's been created. One way to make sure your edge ups are lined up correctly, I like to go ahead and use my comb and base it from point to the edge of the eyeball. That's a real good way to use a guideline for your edge ups. Just want to start to C. Just going to walk that C all the way down and follow his natural hairline. This particular style is going to be hard to catch a point. But we're going to start that point down here. Okay, connect the dots at that point. Right to that curve, which is going to create our C. Again, notice how there's no irritation from the closeness of the blade. I will credit that to the Anevo blade setter as well as this blade, the T1 trimmer. Thank you for tuning in to Superior Cuts and Styles with Sir Reginald. Hope to catch you next time. You guys be blessed now.